Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing our journey in Telthren County where we are trying to get together a warband. So first and foremost, I have successfully disbanded our second... Um, well, he was not a poisoner. He used to be a thief um, or a ranger of sorts yeah ranger ranger was his class now he apparently is poisoner well we have um, we've we've gotten rid of our second ranger and a bit contrary to what i was originally thinking is maybe we can actually sustain a group of six individuals that would be 110 <clears throat> so we can actually pay the wages what I would say, though, is um, we currently don't have another hunter available. Maybe we'll put the second hunter as the seventh uh, companion in. And I wanted to try out the other classes. And I figured, listen, um, when we're now getting rid of uh, a melee DPS, what other class, since most of the class here are melee, <clears throat> are we actually getting in? I figured we we're going with the brute for, for multiple reasons. Number one, if I look at our uh, setup of our lineup, Namri is the only true tank. Pauli can uh, hold his line and we have given him kind of that defensive stance skill just uh, so that he can take a couple of hits if he's really engaged. But he works best when he is uh, fighting side by side with Namri. Um, we do have Jim. Jim is a disengaging, kind of second line fighter. And again, he works best if someone else engages us. So I reflected really out of all of the five people, we have only one um, person who loves to engage, uh, which is Namri in this case. So a second tank would actually help. So having two tanks, these two here would be, um, I would call off tanks or just, yeah, um, support, buff, and melee DPS. Uh, true melee DPS would be Anders, who can then go around the flanks, so to speak, and Dilly would be the ranged DPS. So we do have two true DPS, two, I would say, bruisers, uh, for the lack of a better word, and we only had one tank. And I figured that is a shortcoming. So, um, hear me out. Uh, Luciente here is uh, already level two, and she has two really good skills. One is thick skinned, uh, that gives her three additional percent of guard, so less damage, and strong, which uh, gives a solid 5% uplift on strength, meaning if we um, get more strength onto her, that trait will pay dividends and even um, be better. So the moment that we reach more than 20 strength, I think that 5% will balloon to <clears throat> plus two strength. So that's not bad. On top of it, she can use uh, clubs and just one-handed um, one handed blunt weapons plus a shield. So that all made a lot of sense to me. And she can wear heavy armor if needed. Has um, an, interesting, an interesting ability, which is called weakening. So the taunt here. Um, damage of an enemy is reduced by 50 percent so she could actually be a true frontline tank and if you look at the skills uh, she even has weakening blow that um, allows to apply weakening plus also dealing damage she has the defensive stance and a lot of other great abilities a little bit later so having that second tank i think will be good where we can recruit her for only 80 so we're going to go ahead with that and being our second tank number one we want to level up uh, and i think we're going to go with heavy armor because that's really what i would want and with that we also get the weakening blow we could level up her willpower could level up her strength we could level up her critical hit which i think is not really needed she's quite low on willpower overall so that plus two on willpower actually helps tremendously willpower was one of her lower uh, one of her lower stats and in terms of just what kind of character she could be 
Um, how about we're making her the cook? She's a novice cook, which also might... Could we also make her the miner? Well, Nemri has a lot of those skills already. She's an apprentice blacksmith and I would want to keep her as a blacksmith. Yeah, I think we're... And she has novice miner as well. I'll figure out whether uh, who's uh, going to be the miner, but uh, she can definitely be the novice cook. Plus two constitution fits the bill nicely. A couple of other things that I did since the last uh, time we played. I got rid of uh, the uh, of the plague finally, so we invested quite a bit of money there, and I crafted a few extra items. In this case, recoil bomblets, which are great. Uh, these can be used uh, by anyone who's <clears throat> who has an offhand. Clearly not our tanks. I would want to continue using shields with them, but by the others um, and. Just in case, I think for now, let's just give her a bit of more armor whilst we let uh, Jim go with, uh, with the other armor. Good. We definitely need to upgrade her equipment, but for now she's doing fine. 25% uh, uh, guard looks absolutely fantastic and she's about to level up as well. So as I was saying, we have uh, created these recoil bomblets. Now on t in terms of uh, exploring the world faster, uh, further, we have a couple of options here uh, and we would want to go there. But before we do that, I actually would like to uh, miss Grell is going to be her name again one of our uh, subscribers and she's posting uh, quite regularly so miss Grell, you have been drafted you're going to be the tank for this beautiful group uh, of ours and uh, i think we are ready to depart we want to Travel a little bit further here. What do these guys need, by the way? Go there and find out more. Uh, we're going to do exactly that. Mm. Nah. Changed my mind. We're going to go through here. A little bit deeper into the wilderness. There are a few merchants that we could buy from. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Alexandrian powder is great. When driven into a rock, can be used to hang a rope there and descend from steep heights. That seems to be useful, but what's even more useful is iron ore. And lots thereof. Can we sell stuff? By the way, you can see we've um, finally crafted a lot of medicine. So that's great. I'll sell one. Uh, mostly to keep the 200. Uh, and since we now just gotten... Uh, some more iron ore. Might be able to... Uh, create... Uh, some more armor. I would love to get some uh, solid full plate armor. Falcon could be for our um, for Namri uh, to to increase her damage. I think the two-ended iron axe is a good one as well, but unfortunately it requires just a little bit more iron. One-handed mace could be helpful. Or, alternatively, proper shield. Just takes one iron ore. I think shield and mace might be the way to go here. I think shield and mace is the way to go. So... Off to the market, we need three 
Uh, leather. One, two, three. And one hand mace. Strength plus four is great. Plus it gives us uh, the pound skill. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Job well done. Superior quality. Oh, that is two stars because I hit every single hit. And we're looking at strength plus six. What a phenomenal weapon. Want to get the shield done as well. Holy, I'm on a roll. Very good. Well, what else could we craft? I like the, those offhand throwing weapons. Throwing sickle. Throwing knife. Four. That gives guard on top of it. Hmm. That gives critical damage on top of it. I like the 3% critical hit chance, but I think I'll... Hmm. Well, no, I think I'll go with crit chance here. So, yet another leather. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. All right, one. Thank you. Okay, let's try that. We are going to go with throwing knives. Got a nice little knowledge point on top of it, which theoretically allows us to create a reinforced buckler. Which I think we're going to learn, because the one thing that I learned so far is you always want to uh, learn new crafting recipes here. Cool. So, Miss Grell, uh, you are lucky because you get that fine, fine two-star weapon. And she's now at 7 to 10 damage, which is great. On top of it, you got a nice little shield, so we're rocking 30 armor and 30% um, block chance. And your Sanders does have uh, the knife throw skill, but even more importantly, he gets plus 3% critical hit. Which means we're now actually at 16% uh, crit chance. Oh, look at that. Um, it's a one use weapon, so you can't stack more of them. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, we're going to, for now, we're going to use uh, the torches. Same damage, just not ranged. Um, and also critical uh, strike. Anyways, let's depart. It's taken us way too long uh, to do all of that. You bandits, we have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Please let us go. Um, I thank you. We're a little bit short on food. So far so good, let's go into our adventure.
Good, more of these. I uh, don't know what's uh, down there, but I'll be careful not to stray too far from the path here. Some more exploration experience is we are going to go to that old fishery. <clears throat> so four starters. Who was our angler? Hmm, I think it was uh, Enders. Is that true? Apprentice, angler, no. Did Dilly do the ang angling? A novice. No, I think Apprentice, he was the one uh, doing it. Willpower and critical hit chance. Currently, he's rocking dexterity. Okay, let's fish some. At the beginning I didn't understand that uh, these are limited resources. I thought you could just uh, continue to fish as much as you want, but unfortunately you can't. So, that was helpful. But yeah, they are not respawning. Uh, if we would steal, that uh, could be done by Dilly G. I like that one here because it will give us better, uh, better bait. Salt cloth would be good, but unfortunately our stealing isn't great enough uh, to uh, to get all of those items. Good. What do you want? Some fish. Well, I hope you know what. Well, Saiken, what do you expect? It is a fisherman, so of course it will just be fish. Okay, where do we want to go? A um, few things actually. I think we want to move up here, but before we do that, let's uh, camp. Average danger. We're going to pay you guys and we need a lot of food. So maybe that one trade that allows us to even further reduce the food requirements would be good. But before we do that, let's see if we can cook. Um, certainly can do a bread. We don't have carp yet. Good, so we still have that stupid requirement of three of three uh, times meat per ration. Well, that's better than nothing. We're resting and everybody is up and taken care of. I like that system, it's very well thought through. We gain 20 influence uh, because we're happy. Also, we're getting more experience as we speak. So, a couple of torches, we could still uh, do these. Sturdy fish hook would require more iron ore, which we don't have yet. We do have the python. Uh, that's what we could have bought and yeah we're again requiring a lot of 
a lot of iron ore and there is a mine nearby so what a pleasant surprise let's explore that And what an even more pleasant surprise that we're finally joining a battle. 20 minutes in and we haven't even spilled blood. That is not acceptable. These guys are dividing us. A couple of rock slides are happening. Okay, interesting. So, we got Miss Grell and Namri. I think Nemri could start here, Jim could start there. And let's begin with Anders. The Senchman would act first, second, third. Okay, cool. Well, Tactical order. Allies around this uh, unit gains orderly, uh, which is twice as much ve valor. Appreciate that. Good. We're moving up, mainly to get away from these guys. We gain protection, and we're engaging. All right, here we go. Almost no damage thanks to our protection. Dilly, um, how about... We are moving a little bit up. Pushing this guy further forward. And starting to hit, but unfortunately we haven't really damaged him. And we're hiding back here. End of turn. Okay, fantastic. Well, Anders, it's your turn. Good. We'll get a couple of uh, temporary points. And he just got sociable as a trade. What does that mean? Not sure, but we're going to see about uh, that in a second. Moves up here. Moves to here. Solid hit. Both of them are burning. I like it. Another solid hit. Followed by a move away. And a triple poison. Gosh, I love his turns. They are very satisfying. JP could move up, but not quite get there. I think we're just doing a front line here. Miss Grell moves up. Weakening blow, deflection. Good, I like it. That was a solid hit. That's another one, and she deals a lot of damage just in melee combat. That weakening blow is an extra attack, which is great. <laughs> the only thing that was missing is 
him uh, pulling uh, pulling her up and doing the Vlad the Impaler move. All right. Well. Enders moves up. Solid hit. Double kill. Holy. Hits all three with poison. Then moves back, and then disengages. Oh well, he got himself poisoned there. Dilly! Moves up. Fantastic hit. I like it. I don't want to spend more at this point, so Dilly is just moving slightly back. We're engaging in melee, and we're ending the turn. Uh, that would poison us. That's a kill. And we're going back in line. End of turn. Moves to here. Deals plenty of damage by just pushing him back. And turn we get kind of our extra Valor point. Move up. Hit for 15, holy. Ends the turn. JP moves up. Gets a kill, gets a hit. And we already won. Well. I'm starting to get the hang of it, and we got a good, is that a two-handed weapon? Chipped axe, one-handed axe, okay, well. So who should be our uh, miner? We got a novice miner here, and Miss Grell is the novice cook. She's also a novice miner. She's backed basically novice in everything. And if Namri focuses on blacksmithing, apprentice here. Yeah, we we might give her the miner trait that fits the idea of her being a blacksmith. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Cool. She just got Apprentice Miner, which... What is the bonus there? Plus one constitution, plus one strength, uh, as opposed to the blacksmith, which is straight up plus two strength. You know, it really doesn't matter that much. I think as a tank, she might want an even array. And we can get even more. Cool. Got a ruby out of it. Great. Well, the one thing that I learned is you really want to go through those mines because iron ore is one of the most valuable resources. 24. Holy moly. Petra Mountain Mine. We cleared that. Let's get our bounty up there. Uh, by the way, Enders does not have an offhand anymore. You can give him the throwing uh, dagger. Unfortunately, he can't have multiples of those. Yeah, even his, even his alchemicals only allow him to hit once. I don't know, I like uh, the torch. Let's test that throwing knife and see if it is any good. Good, these guys are the henchmen that we're looking for. They start with the leader's protection, which is what? 20% less damage? Okay, cool. JP could move up from here. Dilly is there. Anders is there. First one will be the Viper that is going to move. Uh, we don't want that. So we're focusing on getting those henchmen down. And the Viper will be pushed back. That works like a charm. Good. Clustering up here so that Enders can do his shout. All right, we're moving up. Miss Grell moves in. Starts to teach uh, them a valuable lesson. And... Yeah, let's just weaken him as well. That's good. Holly moves up. Hits this guy, but I don't want to spend more valor. Not yet. Um, um 
moves to here. Shouts. Uh, kilts on top. Wow, we again poison our own dude. And then successfully poison ourselves. I need to be a bit more careful with a poison. for approach end of turn moves here hits this guy pushes him back and then we're hiding and getting a bit extra valor Delhi doesn't like uh, doesn't like to be not the most damaging character on the field, so does exactly what he's supposed to. Move to here. Viper gets hit, and we finish them. That was a relatively easy fight, only a slight repair, that's good. And we got a Corporal's Rondo, cool. So how good is that shield? Level one, but unfortunately really not, well, this here is the protection skill. Does not have the protection skill. I like the protection skill. That's a really good one. So yeah, sorry. Not an upgrade. In the meantime, he just took another knife. I haven't double checked if uh, after the first throw, if he continued to have knives. Cool. This looks like an interesting place here. All right, let's start. We can't really target anything. Nor can we really steal something. What do you guys do here? Companions doesn't carry their weight. Don't be afraid to teach them new skills. We can help you with that for a price. Contains the knowledge that will allow one of your companions to learn a new skill. Aim skill. Okay. Run skill disengages. I see. First aid. I like that skill a lot. But it costs 300. That's awesome. Uh, that is a lot. Um, wrath skill. Deals 55 to 70% damage to the target if they have less than 50 health left. Okay, well, that, okay, that's the finishing blow. So, and taunt was weakening uh, was weakening them from a uh, four round. I like the first aid skill, but I also like wrath. Uh, both of them are great. The run skill isn't bad either. What does upgrade do? If one of your companions doesn't weapon upgrade. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So. Are you Don't telling me you can upgrade a weapon? If one of your companions doesn't carry No, apparently not. If one of your companions doesn't carry their weight. Let's see. Um, 
We can help you with that. How about a forged Fast. weapon like that? Weapon upgrade. If one of your no, apparently not. Look, to teach them new that's a fantastic vendor, but one that is super, super expensive. So I'm going to mark that mentally. But this will take a while until we get a proper training going. Uh, this is hard, so we're not going to do that yet. Instead, what I would want to do is first down, go down here and then go further back up. Good, we have been to the mine, that is good. There seems to be another secret down here. Couple of mushrooms, I like that. Some of wood over here. Cool, we got some extra knowledge. Uh, we have learned everything that we could uh, that we could create so far endurance training more movement on the map kind of a no-brainer let's check the shepherd farm first and then we're resting uh, if we were to steal that how much? Plus 20 to 30? Yeah, we're risking it. There we go. Sixty to a hundred. Yeah, well. My daughter is very proud to have secured this sheepfold, but we lack the necessary materials to rebuild it. Would you be willing to trade? There you go. You gain ten wood. You are ever so generous. And we got a recipe in return. It's the second one that we do have. Unfortunately, we require an apprentice cook in order to take that. When Lord Lahart My parents were sheep farmers back in Edelman. When I brought them to this abandoned sheepfold, their tired faces lit up, and I saw hope in their eyes for the first time since we left. Unfortunately, We've just learned that this building belongs to a man called Wilbert. I would like to meet him and convince him to let us stay here. But I would feel safer if mercenaries such as All right. could escort me. The good people of Titrim do not look kindly at Oh, thank you. I will meet you there. Good. We got an escort job on our hands. And so far, everything looks fine. All right, back. Needed to take a very small break. So, we wanted to rest before uh, helping that young lady. And I just realized there is a fatigue bar here. And there are there is a bit more resources there. Fatigue is building up. We, uh, we don't want that. Okay, we're already maximum happy. We're getting two, three. Yeah, that's okay. I think the split is fine. Is there anything else we need to craft? Oh, 
I think two sturdy uh, fishing hooks could work well. Some extra craft XP here. And one of uh, those uh, pythons might be good, just in case we need to ever go down. A steep uh, cliff or something. Yeah, I'll keep most of the other iron ore that we do have for now. Good, let's eat the cheese. Get that going. Um, this and that and this. Yeah, and I think we're fine. 30% chance of uh, getting attacked, which isn't too bad because we need extra meat. The game is very generous, by the way. You start with the extra uh, Veiler. As if we would have already taken a rest. Three wolves. Miss Grell on the one hand side. And I think our other tank on the other hand side. One, two, three, four, five. Where's our last character? Oh yeah. Namri. Here we go. Polly, uh, Dilly G, Ender Sanders. Very good. So, let's start. Oh, we stepped into a trap. That wasn't clever. Well, that ended the fight immediately. Easy. Cool. You can craft a banner. What does that do? Banner. Banner represents your troop and your troop's pride. Any assigned lieutenant will proudly carry the banner anywhere. Well. Let's test that. We earned another knowledge point. What do we want to do? We've already learned to create a strategy table. What's the difference between that strategy table and that one? It's the exact same thing. Cooking pot, hitching post. You can assign your ponies, improve the comfort and carrying. I think we've already done that. Tent, we also have gotten that. And campfire, well, I don't know why we would learn all of that because we already have that in our camp. We could learn some more food, which I think would be helpful. Yeah, other than that, what are the options here? Less recruitment costs, increase the number of missions. This one looks good. Artful Dodgers. That is bad because it would reduce our suspicion and we can steal more. So either reduction here or we're getting more food. Wolf sausage uh, sounds like a good idea. We 
I'll tell you what, we're learning the wolf sausage. Because that means we can, we could uh, work with the wolf meat. Yeah, but I don't want to use it yet. I want to use it yet. I thought we had more wolf meat. All right, what's your problem? I became mercenary to travel the world and slay bandits, not to break stones all day. Remind the group how exceptional you are. Be thankful for the future. Hmm. I think we're just taking the minor XP. She is an apprentice now and could uh, further improve that. That's not bad. All right, so what does this uh, do? Exceptional profits. Until the next rest, your troop is willing to encumber and carry more items. That costs us 100. By the way, what are our colors? I would say black and... Black and white? Mm. Black and yellow sounds about right. What's the Seiken symbol? <laughs> That's very German. All right, uh, how about we're getting kind of that eye? I like that one. Cool, banner looks great. Coordinate gathering. Uh, when the troop collects a resource on the world, 50% chance to get another one on the next rest. XP increased by 50%. On the next rest, experience gained in combat 30%. Hmm. Not bad. We are gathering resources at the moment. So 100 uh, there. Not sure if that's that was worth it. Uh, we will need a lot of resources now in order to make it worth. A hundred influences a lot. Maybe I should have taken uh, the. Maybe I should have taken the combat experience. I think it could also be fish that we're catching. Let's see if we get two. we got uh, additional fish well maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was good we're moving down here
right, I tell you what, that was decent. That was decent, but definitely not worth a hundred. We're only using that if we're really having a lot of material, but you can use it any time uh, during the day because you could camp and just spend the influence, right? got in there uh, we got three bait let's see what's this something tells me these do not belong to you you know the rules you must pay the tax Send there you go for your contribution easy peasy I don't think that it would have been worth uh, fighting them over it Good. This is going to be interesting. Why refuse? We are sheep farmers. If you would just let us stay in the sheepfold, we could. Absolutely not. I inherited this barn from my sister. I will not let anyone take it from me. But you are not even using it. You are a fisherman. What use would you have for a sheepfold? That is none of your business. I will do as I please with my property, and I will do what I must to protect it from raiders. Well, that's indeed a problem. What's it to you if I use that sheepfold or not? That has nothing to do with it. That pile of rubble is mine. That woman has no right to stay there and is making a fuss. I'll pay you handsomely if you make her leave. We get a couple of flies if uh, we accept that. I will not go anywhere until you agree to help me. So please. What's it is it worth 50 gold? Is not. the question. That has nothing to do with it. That pile of rubble is mine. Now we're threatening him. No, no need to get so upset. Has he accepted? Oh, blessed to be the all-seeing eye. You cannot imagine what this new home means for the three of us. Good, we get a medallion. Except this, I have to go. I must tell my parents the wonderful news. They will be thrilled. And we have already gotten four of uh, these purplish, uh, of these purplish fate missions. Will power, uh, power plus one. Uh, could we? Where that? Fantastic. Namri is at 15 willpower. That means uh, she can get hit once and not die. The unit survives the first time that should, they should die in combat. Once per encounter, 15 points. Okay, cool. I like it. We still need uh, to craft more armor. So I'm actually looking for... For more um, or let's do that next and then we're going up against the bandits up here this here still looks hard so I think we need to be better equipped for it All right, uh, pick up that. I think it's still not worth a hundred. We've gotten quite a few resources, but boy oh boy, that was costly. We could steal uh, wheat, but we're already wanted. I am terribly sorry. I shouldn't have agreed to this, but We'd run out of food. Do not take pity on this scoundrel. He fled his home country to come and see. This Ederanian leech will be strung up for his crime. And soon. Are you. are you mercenaries? Okay. Oh, blessed be the all seeing eye. You must warn my husband's friends. 
the need to come and help him. Yes, ask them to come. If only they could speak in his favor. My husband only told me that his friends live north of the lake, not far from... All right, so we got to get some reinforcements because apparently these guys are in trouble. I would like to get one of those sheep or the horse. That would be awesome. Nope, can't get anything here. They have a lot of crops, so... Where do we need to go? Sentence to death. Warn the convicted man's friends north of uh, the nearby lake. Well, that is the lake. The friends are here. Good. We'll get these um, these craftsmen here. Hopefully, they do have some ore. We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Unfortunately, we need to rest again. And that's a good uh, time to end today's episode. I think it was a good one. We're uh, saving the friends the next time. For now... I think everything is in good order. Could get some wolf sausages, but we don't want them yet. We will rest here, drink some ale. Get some fish going. And uh, take a good night's rest. Wait a second. And take a good night's rest. And that ends today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you want to take a good night's rest as well, have a proper pillow at hand. And in order to have a good conscience before you sleep, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Because elsewise you might stay, uh, stay awake and uh, deeply regret not supporting the channel. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one. Bye bye.